Are you ready for this project? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know it's serious when the apron comes out. You're explaining it to me and the people. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. If you're new here, my name is Felicia. I'm a freelance photographer based in Michigan. And as you can see, we've kind of been obsessed with car camping lately. We actually built this bed platform with my grandpa and it was just the platform. Um, but as you can see, we've definitely made some changes. I'll link in the description or maybe put a card up here for the video of how we actually built the platform by itself. Cause that part was super easy and it cost us less than 60 bucks. And as you can see, we're currently car camping and we've been car camping on it for like a year. But in this video, we're actually gonna show you guys how we built this slide out table and this drawer system that we have which I'm obsessed with and the main reason I wanted to do these additions is because we have a lot of space under here there's nine inches under here but without this drawer you have to reach underneath to grab everything but now we can basically keep all of our car camping stuff in here without having to take anything out so when we want to go car camping all we really have to do is pack our clothes and camera gear like I said this is an absolute game changer there's still tons of more stuff that we can put in there slides in and out really easy and we have this little table and all of this is going to stay in the car so we can pretty much make coffee make food have dry food stored in the car so if we're ever out shooting and we want to actually eat we can just pull over and cook whatever we want make coffee or anything now if you watch the first video you know that I have no woodworking skills Andrew and my grandpa pretty much did all the work but nothing that we've done has been that hard I'm sure Andrew and I could have figured it out on our own but my grandpa loves this stuff even at 91 years old he's always finding a way to make my crazy ideas happen as you can see I told him to just tell us what to do but you'll see in the video that he insisted on doing it all himself so I filmed a lot more of the build this time but I'm not gonna go through like a step-by-step -step tutorial and list all the materials that we use because we pretty much just use what my grandpa had and there are a lot of other really awesome build videos that'll show you exactly how to build these drawers um, but I just kind of wanted to document the process of building this with my grandpa because you guys seem to enjoy him and the very sneak peek that he made in the next video we had a lot of fun making it who knows maybe it gives you guys some ideas for your own build if you want to do something like that so uh yeah i think with all that being said let's cut to the footage of the build you ready for this project uh, i don't know <laughs> we should be able to do it i think we can only try yeah well we're gonna see one thing to note if you're doing this for yourself is before you start building your drawers make sure that these are completely level because ours aren't exactly uh, lined up perfectly so we're gonna take out the screws and redo it well, we did the the first part we didn't think we were gonna put a drawer right of course so we didn't care about where we put it and line it up is a support it's a leg you know? exactly so as long as you line your legs up so the drawer is perfectly straight you should be all set Got three and a half. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. You know it's serious when the apron comes out. Oops, this is the size. Okay. Watch splinters. So what kind of wood is this? This is again. It's pine. Oh, it's pine. Yeah. And this is going to be the side of the cabinet. Side and front and, and back. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we're going to make one side and one back from each one. I'm going to cut this piece because that's not good. No. Oh, okay. I'm going to cut it off. Cut off the bad piece. But I need it to be square. So. Gotcha. Yeah, that piece of wood is not looking very good. One. Now let's see how it fits. Looks good. But this is nine inch, and that's. Yeah, I think it's. No, it's not an eight, it's seven, maybe seven and a half, because the measure they give it to you, that's is rough. Oh, yeah. But when they finish, even, see, these are two by four. But they're not. But they're three. not. It's yeah. one and a half by two and a half. Yeah. Not by three and a half. Yeah, I've yeah. learned that, that when you get the wood that's two by four by four, it's not actually yeah, exact yeah, all the time. An inch less. About a half inch less, and I'm going to take his word for it because this is the man of experience here. And as you can see, he's doing most of the work. I told him we wanted to do it, we want to learn, but he's stubborn and he, he wants to do it his way. You spend more time, and sometimes you make a mistake. He if, doesn't have the time. I let you do it. He doesn't have the time to teach me, that's what he's saying. Okay. No, no I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You, learn, you do it the right way, yeah. And I'm filming every process and hopefully we can help other people do it themselves. Okay, it's called the burrow. They're called burrow, they see? Yeah. Now we're doing the second piece, cutting it the same size. Then 
got our two pieces for the sides cut and now to measure for the front of it so we're gonna overlap to make 18 and a quarter 18 and a quarter mm -hmm. all right The back fits inside between these two here, and our measurements were 16 inches. All right, so we almost forgot to think about these railings here. So we're measuring the distance of these railings so we can take that into account for the back and the front. All right, so we got both of our rails here. We secured in our railings. Good job. Hey. What's that? We got the rails. Got the rails. All right, so this is what it looks like. We got it all set up here, and we just need to secure it all in. So he uh, sanded that down for us, and it's time to put the face on. So we have another piece of birch for the bottom of the drawer. All right, we just put the bottom onto our drawer, so moment of truth, we're gonna put this in and see if it all worked. Otherwise, all of this for nothing. That what was, do you think? It's not done yet. I know, but I'm saying we gotta see if it's gonna flow. Yeah, the drawer is ready. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, all right. We're back for day two. We ran into a couple little slight slowdowns yesterday, so we are finishing up today. What, what are we doing? It just adapting whatever works exactly that's the way you got to do it i told i sprung this project on him in like one day and was like how fast can we do this so this is what we came up with and this is exactly why we have him to help because if we were to try to do all of this by ourselves we probably would be a little bit overwhelmed if you don't make a boo boo this should be done <laughs> If, <laughs> if you missed that, he said, if there wouldn't have been a boo-boo, we would be all done. But like I said, we uh, had a few minor bumps. Things weren't exactly perfectly straight, and we mismeasured a few times. But that's going to happen. That's all part of construction is what I'm learning. But, uh, but yeah, it's looking pretty solid now. I think we just have a few final touches and making sure that it all slides good. What do you think? Yeah, I could have done a better job, but... Stop saying that! But I needed this, this wood a little wider, so... I would like to have it now up to here, half of this. Yeah. No need to be a perfectionist. Alright, so the drawer is complete, and now we are moving on to kind of a slide-out table. We'll be able to have the drawer right here, and the slide-out table that pulls out here. And now he's actually using one-inch screws to fasten in the sliders for our pull-out table. Just tested this out, we put it in, and as you can see, it slides in and out nicely and stops there at the end like we're going to. So we measured right here, and we're going to cut this, and it should be pretty close. Mm -hmm. All right, so we put the platform back in and now we're gonna put the drawer and the uh, tabletop on and see how we did. Okay. All right, and there it is. Not too hard to... No, not at all. Okay. okay. And now we're gonna make a leg that extends to give this a little bit more support. So it is actually a few days later and we last left off when we were trying to get put a leg to stabilize this slide out table a bit and at first he came up with a really genius idea to have a fold out leg that it would have worked good but this is such a long space and it to make it it was just a little bit more complicated than we wanted it to be so he again came up with I still have uh, that one is my show Oh yeah, let's see. So this was how we were originally going to have it sit under here and slide out, but it didn't exactly work the way that we planned and it was just a bit more complicated, but he came up with another genius idea, which was to just have a solid leg that attaches with 
this kind of corner brace. Is this what you call this? An angle. Okay, a metal angle that's screwed into this. And this piece actually slides right in that little hole. The and slot. yeah. So he actually carved this spot underneath with a chisel. The other side of this, nailed this down so that we can slide this in. We want to use the table and just slide it out. And there it is. So now we have a perfectly steady, I mean, we're not really on super level ground, but this is a perfect tabletop. We actually tested it out yesterday at Belle Isle and we cooked some minestrone soup and it was absolutely perfect. Now we also have this massive drawer with tons of space here. This is everything we need to cook and make coffee right here. We have our pans underneath. And like I said, we tested it out yesterday and it seriously worked perfect. Beforehand, we had to climb underneath to get to everything. Now when I need something, I can just pull it out and boom, we have everything here. One thing to note if you are doing this is it can be a little bit noisy when you're driving, especially here in Michigan, we have absolutely terrible roads. So this was a little bit noisy when we first did it, but Andrew actually came up with a brilliant idea and he put some Velcro right along this side of the brackets. And honestly, it's like silent now. You barely hear anything. It was quieter than it was with just the platform beforehand. So. Good call on that one, Andrew. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're ready to go car camping. We just have to fill this up and we're hoping to actually test it out in the next week. So thank you so much again. Obviously he did all of the work for this one. This was a little bit more complicated for us because we've never done something like this before, but he uh, made it happen in like two days and maybe three, four hours a day, if that. And it would have taken less if we didn't try to get so fancy, but it works perfect and we are so happy. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. You know I'm not a pro. Yeah. What do you mean? But you have more experience? I, I am a handyman with a lot of experience. Exactly. 91 years of experience. <laughs> well, I mean, you weren't being uh, a handyman when you were a, a baby, but pretty much. Pretty, as soon as you could. Even when I grew up, I was a handy. Exactly. Yeah. Well, this probably won't be the last construction project we ask oh, of you. No. So. Well, either way, we really appreciate it. Uh, no problem. I'm happy to help. Awesome. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully in the next video, you'll see us out testing this camping setup. Um, I know this was a little bit different. I've never done a construction video, so sorry if it was kind of all over the place, but I wanted to document the experience with my grandpa. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.